I expected. I thought it was, uh, I don't know, he had Piyukmu. I thought he had um, the other one, which is like, which has like electric typing, but I guess not. So let's go ahead. With that being said, I think we can go ahead and bring, um, we're going to lead with, we're going to lead with Raichu. Uh, his team's all physical, and I brought Charm onto this uh, Raichu. Is this a good Pokemon to lead with in general? And I think um, also another really, really strong lead might be uh, I think we go Gastrodon. And then we have uh, we put um, Litten's dad in the back. And then Another Pokemon that's really strong. Or maybe not even bring um, Stoutland. Let's bring, let's just bring our strongest Pokemon. Yeah, we should be fine with this. Curious to see who he leads now that I know that he hasn't, he didn't bring, um, crap, I forget what the, uh, Pinch, Pinch Urchin, he didn't bring Pinch Urchin, which was uh, surprising. He's got Steelix and Cinderace. Okay, that's perfect. So we know that we can either nuzzle Cinderace, which is probably what we're gonna do. Um, not necessarily concerned with Steelix due to our typing advantage. So chances are, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, I don't think really nuzzle does anything right now. Let's go ahead and charm, lower its attack, and then we can, uh, Let's just take it easy and um, go for a, a Scald onto the Steelix. Just kind of feel out and see what's happening. Okay, so we lower uh, Cinderace's attack, which is really good. And we also don't have to worry about Dynamax. Okay, that's kind of a, it's not gonna hit as hard. Yeah, it really doesn't do anything. Let's see who he brings out. Hopefully we can get the burn on Cecilix with the Scald. Okay, the X, X could really, it's cool with me. So he sets the Sandstone for himself. Once again, I have no problem with that. So uh, he breaks my focus sash on um, on Raichu. Uh, I think he's gonna go for the earthquake. So I'm just gonna go ahead. He set up the uh, sandstorm for me already. So I can just go ahead and switch into Corviknight and protect uh, Raichu. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then um, we can max. No, we'll save our max. We don't really need to max right now. Actually, no, we'll max, we'll max, because I think Gastrodon is just really strong against, um, and we can get rid of the, uh, sand, and the sand setter, so let's go ahead and do that. So Steelix does not get, uh, so Sandstorm normally, uh, it gives a special defense boost to, uh, rock types against water attacks, or no, it just gives a special defense boost to rock types. It doesn't matter what the um, attack is. And since Steelix is, Steelix is a uh, steel and ground type, he doesn't get the benefit of that. Um, he doesn't get the benefit of being especially uh, getting boosted on special defense. So I think Gastrodon should get the KO here. So if he max Quakes, He's not going to get a special defense boost if he max Quakes into um, Corviknight because uh, it obviously won't hit Corviknight because Corviknight is a flying type.
So Celix goes down and he loses the weather. So we're kind of in a, we're in a really favorable uh, position. We can, I mean, if we really wanted to, we can stall out. As the Dynamax, I think we just got to be aggressive and we go straight for um, go straight for the Excadrill. So Puke is gonna probably try to strength sap. I think we switch back out into the Raichu. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then we Max Quake. Oh no, let's let's do Let's go ahead and iron defense. Let's just set up. And then we can um Max Geyser into the Excadrill. Yeah, so he wants to get that special defense boost. That's fine. We eat that all day. Yeah, so what, if you move strength saps, um, you can move strength saps, my Corviknight, it won't really matter because, uh, okay, Toxic. Okay, that's good to know. So there's Toxic on the Puke move. Noted. Duly noted. That's fine. We got recover for that. We'll go ahead and um, Iron Defense one more time. And then we can... Uh, Let's see. Let's just Max Quake the extra drill again. More special defense boost. Um, really don't care. Iron defense again. This is really just getting us ready for the uh, Cinderace. It's gonna come back out. So, um, wow. Really surprised that that didn't kill. It's okay. Excadrill gets one more move off. So I'm going to go ahead and go straight for the uh, body press on the peak move. And then I'm going to leave Excadrill because uh, Excadrill could die from a fake out from my choose. So we're just going to go ahead and lean in on um, peak move. Um, yeah, I really like just going leaning in on puke move. So this, well, this call doesn't work. Puke move's got to go. Not worried about earthquake. We're going to die this turn anyways. A lot of things are strong. That's a strong problem. Oh, it has a recover too, okay. So change of plans. We can body press again. We get a free body press next turn. Um, Gastrodon's gone down. Go ahead and fake out the uh, extra drill. Alright, defense one more time. And then we'll go fake out onto extra drill. Or was that faster? I 
Actually, let's go ahead and um, fake out the puke move. So we don't have to worry about... Oh, what did I just do? I just messed up. Yeah, that was, that was a very bad misclick, but I think uh, we'll be okay. Major misclick on my part. Either way, we'll go into... Um, Yeah, that was a very, 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 very bad misclick on my part. So we got my low tick regardless. Um, stones are gonna stone. We'll go iron defense. I mean body press, puke move, and then we'll go. Um, let's go break and swipe. That's cool with me. So we really don't have to worry about um, Cinderace now that we are um, Como se dice plus six on defense. So we'll just go body straight, body press, body press straight into Cinderace, and then it's just gonna end up being me and Puke move in a stall battle for the most part. So the body press. And then, um, let's go break and swipe just in case it doesn't kill. There we go. I mean, got a good, um, got a little lucky on there. So one shot the Cinderace, and now we just have to focus on puke move. Just probably gonna recover again. Yeah, it's gonna recover. That's kind of annoying, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and let um, my low tick. Uh, Go ahead and let's make sure we're max on our defense. Yeah, we're max on defense. Just gonna body press again. And then we are gonna uh, let's go ahead and life do. This is gonna end on a stall for the most part. Oh, wow. So I'm going to start break birding and save my uh, my body press. It's going to be stalled. Probably going to have to just wait a little bit. Let's go back to the game. So now he's got to make a decision if he wants to recover or spite me again. So 
We're gonna go for breaking swipe and the body press. I don't think this will kill, but we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't kill. I think Brave Bird did a little more. Yeah, he's gonna go for the cover. And we're gonna life do again. Again, life do. Actually, no, we're gonna break bird and breaking swipe, I think. No, we're gonna life do. We gotta keep uh, my little tick alive as long as possible. Yeah, Breaking Swipe wouldn't have killed. One second. Oh, go, go, go. That's a problem. So it's basically gonna come down to a uh, stall, I wanna say. I'm gonna break bird one more time. Again, and he's going to go for recover, and I'm going to roost. Brave bird, one more time, and then I'm going to roost. So he probably thinks I'm gonna spite. I 
I think that might be game because the timer is going to run to where, uh, yeah. Body press, see if he goes for it. Let's see what happens. I think it's whoever has the highest HP. I feel like my HP is high, but we'll see. Yeah, see, so I took the I had higher HP, so it was a stall battle. And uh, that was a very, very close stall battle. I think Grant hats off to you because one wrong move and that would have been an L uh, on my part. So we're going to go ahead and play with the same rules. Hell of a game, hell of a first match. Uh, let's see if we can win the next one. Okay, I think uh, now knowing what we know about the puke move, I think we go ahead and lead. Um, let's see, let's take the summary. I wonder what I have on Stalin. Okay, I think we keep Gengar in the back to put uh, to put puke move to sleep. We go. Well, let's do this. Boom, and then actually, no, let's go in the back, and then we go. see what happened we got steelix and extra drill uh, we know the sandstorms coming so let's go ahead and charm the extra drill again and uh, charm the extra drill actually no let's do this we're gonna fake out Steelix. And then we're gonna 
going to max geyser the um, steelix so that no sandstorm no sandstorm comes Okay, so now what happens is um, let's see, maybe Raichu can. I don't know if Gashadon is faster than Steelix, though. Either way, no, I'll, I'll charm and then go into. See, this is Steelix is gonna have to use Sandstorm if if it has any chance of. So go ahead and charm the Excadrill. Okay, so he doesn't get the sand. Oh, he does get the sand. Okay, gets the sand off. But either way, the sand's gone away. faster again. I don't think Grass Knot kills Steelix, but we're gonna go for it anyways. Let's go Grass Knot onto Steelix, and then we'll go uh, Max Geyser onto Excadrill again. Hmm, doesn't get the kill. That's okay, though. Surprising, he doesn't go for the uh, sandstorm again. Okay, that's good damage. So now we'll go charm onto Excadrill one more time and lower its attack. And then, um, well, no, it's gonna die this turn, anyways. No, we'll charm the Excadrill and then we will. Kill the Steelix uh, with Earth Power. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Live again. 
I have no problem uh, letting Excadrill just sit there with a really low attack. So Raichu's done his job. And we don't have to worry about Sandstorm, which is good. We'll be curious to see who he brings out next, though. I'm thinking he brings Cinderace. Either way, um, I can go ahead and put. No, we'll let we'll let Gengar sit until the end of um, until Excadrill's out out of the match because I don't want to get Earthquake. But yeah, Cinderace, there it is. I think, I think, don't quote me. I wonder if the Cinderace has double kick. Or high jump kick. Maybe it does. So we'll predict the high jump kick. And we'll bring in Gengar. Uh, this could go either go really good or really bad. And then we'll go and try to take out the... Um, Who's the bigger threat? We'll go ahead and spot the extra drill. Cause I really think high jump kick is gonna come in. Oh, okay, sucker punch. That's scary. So that's a dead um, Excadrill. And then we know that um, Pukemu can go to sleep. Or we can put, um, or we can just burn, uh, or we can just burn Cinderace. I think we put Pukemu to sleep and then we recover. I think that's the, the safest play right now. Yeah, Sucker Punch is not gonna hit either of us. I wonder if it's if it's locked into Sucker Punch. I feel like it is. So now I think we go Ancient Power and we try to get our, um, try to get the Omni Boost. I'm really trying not to get caught into the stall, so I'll bring out, uh, Stoutland. If he tries to circle punch again, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hit. So we'll just go ahead and Ancient Power onto the Cinderace. So he's, I think he's locked in the circuit bench. Gosh. Okay, that's a problem. We go back into Gengar, and then we go.
Oh, so it did have, did have power ball. Okay, so Earth Power is going to kill Cinderace. Bye bye, Zidar. Okay, so that's a dead Cinderace. So it's probably gonna be GG's. No. Hmm. Okay, Sprite, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, that's cool. Let's try to put this away, give the impact, and that's game. That is game. Good game, Grant. Good game. That first, that first one definitely had me on the ropes. Uh, caught me off guard with the stall tactics. Um, luckily, I managed to pull out two in a row, and uh, good luck to you.